Alright guys, welcome back. This is gonna be a quick real quick video. I just want to show you something to look out for with these various different boot sales, estate sales, flea markets or whatever. I thought this was a set like that had been covered in someone's tool bag and covered in paint. Because to all intents and purposes to me it looked like paint. What you're trying to do is get rid of the residue on top. This is apparently this is what the plastic is actually starting to break itself down it looks like this. Um, if it's real deep pitting you can use sandpaper. These, this piece here, I, just, I literally just polished this by hand. So this is what this video is going to be about. We're going to polish them up and then we're going to see how nice we can make them. Just to show you that you don't have to have a lot of tools or even knowledge to make stuff look nice presentable. Let's get to it. Alright, that's one finished. As you can see with a little bit of work, it turned out really, really nice. Okay, I think you get the gist of it now. This is a red one. It actually looks a little bit orangey on the camera, but it is red. And it isn't taking much to clean them up at all. What we have so far. Tell me you throw them away. Right, when we get back to I'm gonna do the rest of them now and then I'll bring you back and show you what we got. This I believe is another red one. Let's get a little bit more deterioration. And I'll tell you what, these two, this absolutely stinks. This stuff that comes off, there's an awful smell on. Right, you get the gist of it. I'm going to clean this up and we'll be back in a second. This one is able to scrape off. Alright, new colour. Looks pretty good with my nails. And this one is going to be yellow. Back in a second. Alright, I've got three more to do. And this time, I am for sure going to just do all of them because this stink is getting horrible. I'm going to I can't describe to you how disgusting this smell is. It's really, really nasty. I'm trying to find something that's soft that won't scratch up the plastic too much. That is, that I wish you could, <laughs> I know I keep saying I wish you could smell that, <laughs> it's disgusting, ugh. I actually had to check my dog and make sure he didn't have poop on his feet, that's how bad it smells. He's actually sleeping behind me. Alright, yeah, that's it, I'm going to clean this up and <laughs> we'll clean the shafts because these are all a little bit of corrosion on, we'll stick that on the buffer. But we'll do all of them at the end for the great reveal. See you in a bit. Well, 
Well, there they are in all their glory. And you might think I'm finished with them, but I'm not. This, I'm going to get a little tiny bit of paint. And I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Other people might do it differently. But get the cheapest spray paint you can get. This is like, this is 99 cents. Very, very, very thin. It's not something you want to paint with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray in here. And I'm literally going to use my finger. See, it's inside there. Get a little tiny bit of my finger. And because it's so thin, it's not going to get everywhere. Now watch this. See on there. Now you might be thinking, oh my god, what have you just now done? But because it is so thin, as you can see, it just about wipes off, but it leaves the paint inside the little marks. And anything that's left over like that it just comes up real easy. Because I have actually put polish on these handles as well as doing all the other stuff we've been doing. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna do because partly the reason why this stuff's come off is because the you can see it's worn down a little bit, at least it brings out a little tiny bit. What do you think? I think that's good enough. As you see, I get a little bit there. Let's see if we can get that before this dries up. The only reason you're able to do, I'm able to do this, is because I just, like I said, how thin this paint is. And if it doesn't cover it completely, I really don't care. As you can see, the part that it didn't get the paint in is because there's literally there's hardly anything there left of the of the numbers anymore. So anyway, that's it. It's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the paint on there, and you'll see the pictures in a minute. But that's the job finished. Uh, like and subscribe, and remember to guys share the videos. Get this, let's get the videos out again. I know I've been away for a little bit, but I'm gonna try and start putting them out, putting the videos out once every week and a half. So like once every ten days. And if I can get a few smaller ones done, I might actually start doing them once a week again. But just help me out, share the videos, just get it out there, make it worth my while doing these videos for you. And we'll see you on the next one.